Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can speed up your system really easily using just one or two programs which are free to download off the internet. The first one I'm going to tell you about is called CCleaner. It's quite popular and it's highly recommended by many people and I really would recommend that you use it. You can speed up your system by removing unnecessary files and cleaning up your registry as well as uh, it will allow you to wipe space on your drive whether it's the entire drive or just free space but more on that later so to start off with to get CCleaner just open up Google and do a quick search for it and the first link here and you've got a download for it just here now I've, I've already got this so I'm not going to do it again but you just hit download open the installer hit next loads of times and press I agree on anything that you need to and you should have it all installed once you have this installed if you just either double click on the desktop icon or open it in your start menu either way open it and you should see a screen similar to this now one of the first things you're going to do once this happens is hit analyze and when you do this what it's going to do is scan your system for any unnecessary files such as temporary internet files and um, whether that's history or cookies or temporary files within your system and uh, things such as that and uh, I just need to clean Google, uh, close Google Chrome now to clean it so and it says um, I'll save approximately 35 meg if this is the first time you've used it you could save a lot of space and uh, you know it will speed up your system a little bit and hopefully this will help so if I just press run cleaner press OK and in just a minute this will delete all of my files that um, I don't need so that's brilliant uh, one of the other things you can do is press registry and if you've never cleaned your registry before there's bound to be loads of stuff that uh, needs to be sorted out and uh, if you hit scan for issues I'm not sure whether this will come up with anything because I've recently done it but you'll get a list of anything that's potentially wrong with your registry you know uh, you can an easy way to pick up problems in your registry is if you install and uninstall files, little bits can be left behind, things like that. But uh, if you try and clean your registry by um, hitting fix selected issues once it's uh, detected any, you'll be uh, given the option to back up your registry. And um, just for the sake of it, even if you're pretty sure that it's safe, I would if I were you, just in case you want to uh, restore it at any point. But uh, yeah, as you can see, no issues were found, so. You know, it does clean it up and keep it that way pretty well. So, um, yeah, but like I said, you just hit fix selected issues and you can back up your registry and it will clean it all for you. So, yeah, that's pretty safe since you have a backup. Uh, this uninstall is pretty much the same as if you go to control panel and hit here and install a program. But what I do like about it is if you've got a program that won't install for whatever reason or if you do install it and it's left behind, you can just click it hit delete entry and that will be deleted also if you want you can rename it or you can just run the uninstaller and also you can save any results to a text file if you want so you know it has a few more features so that's nice also you can view every program that opens with your computer when you start it up so whether that's from windows it's got internet explorer schedule tasks context menu you can uh, disable things from here or delete them Again, you can uh, save to text file the list of everything. Uh, you got a system restore, which you know is uh, similar to if you just uh, open the restore here, like backup and restore and system restore. But uh, either way, it's still neat. And you also have the drive wiper. Now this is really cool. So um, I'm not sure whether you know this, but when you delete a file, so if you delete it and send it into your recycle bin and then you hit empty recycle bin up here if there's something in it it doesn't actually remove it from your drive it removes the link to the file but it isn't actually deleted it's just removed from your site you know you can't open it but it's still there hidden in your drive now if someone were to get hold of your laptop and suppose you had some bank details that you got rid of in this way they could really easily just using some software that's freely available they could search your drive and find some files and recover them and by doing this it will f uh, format your drive but any parts of it you like so for example just the free space and you can wipe this once you can do it three seven or thirty five times if you do it thirty five times no one's going to be able to get anything off your computer 
and I don't know why this has came up, but anyway. And um, yeah, so you can do it for any or all of your drives. And uh, if you say you want to get rid of your PC, you can just go entire drive and delete absolutely everything. But make sure you only do that if you really need to, because it's going to be hard to get a lot of stuff back. And you know, you've got your options about cookies and uh, you've got copyright information and everything here. So that's C Cleaner, and I think that this is really good, and it's really simple to use. Right, now the second piece of software I'm going to talk to you about is called Saluto. And uh, this is some pretty good software that's mainly web-based, but it runs on your system for you uh, then to, run, uh, to view online, so you can use it from anywhere once you've run it once on your computer. So once again, if you just head over to Google and uh, do a quick search for so Saluto, and if you open this up, you should be able to find a download for it, just right here. If you click that, and you can have up to six slots. I think that means six computers, but uh, yeah, that's really good. So once you've downloaded that, you're going to get a tray icon down here. Now you're going to have to restart your computer when it in, uh, after it installs, and that's uh, you know partly because you know some installers need you to do that, and it's partly because one of the ways that it works is it. Uh, counts how long it takes you for your computer to boot up and then it will tell you which programs take the longest to boot up and how you can get rid of them so if I just close out of this and right click this and click view my PC and if you just give this a minute it loads up and it tells you a little bit about your computer right here like I can uh, get here it tells me my computer I've got an Intel Core i3 and 6 gig of RAM and whatever and um you can scroll down like this or you can just uh, hit any of these links here so if you want to apps it tells you things you've got uh, this isn't really that useful it just tells you things you might want which you know I guess is nice and then you can hit background apps and this is things that boot up with your computer when they start so uh, it tells me that I've got 80 apps that start with my computer in the background and it takes them a minute 53 to start so under removable apps it tells me all different things and uh, use all the things that I can remove and it says that iTunes takes 0.3 seconds to boot up it tells you a little bit about it and tells you what it would recommend that you do um, yeah so if you uh, want to you can delay it and it will free 0.3 seconds from your boot time or you can remove it totally and it won't boot but uh, it's only 0.3 seconds, so I'm going to leave it. But uh, earlier on, I was cleaning this up, and you know, you really notice some things that take up two, three seconds. And even if you just delay them, it really helps. Uh, here, Magic Desktop. Um, I'm going to remove this from boot actually because I never use it, and I don't really know what it is. So, um, Spotify. Uh, you can delay this so I may as well save a bit more time and you get the idea of what you can do now you've got 16 potentially removable so uh, only remove these if you know what they are and you know that you don't need them and then required ones you you know you really want to be keeping these like I like how they put saluto under required ones but I guess that's if you want this to pop up you're gonna have to you know need it to be required but if you don't want to use it anymore you can remove it from there and uh, yeah and then you've got six removed apps which are all the ones that I've removed so uh, this is a quick video on how to potentially speed up your system using CCleaner and Saluto I hope that this helped you if it did please leave a comment and I'll be uh, interested to read them if it did help you please like and uh, subscribe Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.